We're here for the first time at Wicked Good Coffee Donuts and More. Thrilled to be joined here with Libby Raymond from Touchstone. Libby, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Typically would have tried the glaze. They've run out of glaze, so that's a good sign. I will say, generally speaking, the places that have the and more in the name, you generally don't want to try the more, usually. So we're here yeah. for the donuts. We're going to give it a whirl. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. I don't think we're here at a fair time. It's cold. It's a cold it's donut. Cold. I think we should give him another try at like 7 in the morning. Because this could be good. Could be good. It could be good. But it's not. No. And they're open. That's usually our rule. If you're open, you better be bringing the heat. This donut I think would be good if you're filling up with gas and you're getting a cup of coffee and you're in between like having some almonds from the store or a donut. Like, go with the donut. Yep. I just kind of like the frosting part on the top, not necessarily all, it feels a little dry right now, especially because it's cold, but. That's what my kids do, they just bite the top of it well, and then they leave it on the table. I'm not gonna leave it on the table. Yep. I'm gonna give it a C plus. I, I'm trying to think if I'm in the D scoring business right now or not. I'm not, I'm gonna be on the kinder side. This is a new me. So I'm gonna give them a C minus, give them the benefit of the doubt that they've got a better product out there and we just came at the wrong time. C minus donuts, wicked yep. good donuts not so wicked good. <laughs> is there anywhere else that we should go? Donut Digest is back and we will catch you for the next episode.